Hey YouTube, so I got another five minute game here. I actually just finished the game that I was recording, but uh, I got into really severe time pressure and so I was super focused on making moves and like forgot to talk for the last, oh, five or six minutes of the video. <laughs> so I, uh, I decided not to, not, to, not to bless you guys with that one. We're going to try this again and hopefully not get in such terrible time pressure. All right, so we have the Trost defense, which um, usually means that black is going to end up with an isolated deep on. So I'm going to Fianchetto the bishop to immediately start putting pressure on that. Maybe knight f3 was a better start to that, though, so that I could recapture. Um, well, actually, I think he's graciously just giving me a pawn. Yeah, it looks like I can just win it right now. Bishop takes and then... Um, do I want to play queen takes and just trade queens or not? Trade queens or no trade queens? Um, trade queens. It comes with a nice thread on c7. And being a pawn up already. Okay, so he try, he decides himself not to, not to do the trade. So let's see if uh, I'm going to leave it there and offer it again and just develop. Okay, so this time he decides to, to kick it there, so I have to decide to trade or not. So I'm actually, I'm thinking uh, queen takes looks good, and then I'll follow that up with bishop takes knight, and then he's got an isolated pawn on the c file which I think that looks good. It gives up the bishop pair, though. But is that so bad? You know, obviously I have to move. Well, phooey. I also have this move, queen b5, and I'm threatening to take on c6 and win another pawn. I can't imagine he's going to he's gonna fall for that. So let's let's just go ahead and trade queens. And I don't think I want to give up bishop for knight. I think that that's uh, I think that's that's too much. I don't think I don't think I want to go for that. Do want to develop this bishop now though, but perhaps I need to develop the knight first and go ahead and get, try to get castled here soon. Okay, he does the same. I go ahead and castle, and I need to develop my bishop. Decide whether to go here. Yeah. See if he kicks it or not. There's no real reason to. Okay, so he decides to kick it. Maybe I'll think about sticking my knight on e5 now. That seems okay. I definitely... Okay. Interesting. For a second, I just want to, like, take. <laughs> just, just to say uh, I'm not afraid of you, but I kind of am. I don't want to do that. Should I play bishop? out and then get the knight on e5 that seems like that's probably okay but doing that i'm going to lose control of the d2 square and he could stick a knight in there and it would be annoying so i'm gonna i'm gonna keep that i'm gonna decide to keep that bishop for now okay Trade. I'll probably take with the bishop, I suspect. No, the rook. Okay, does that allow me any fancy discoveries or anything? It kind of does. Tempted to play knight takes g5, but that's just trading two pieces for the rook, which is probably no good. His bishops actually look pretty good there. I'm going to contest the, the rook whilst I can. He'll probably double. That would make sense. 
Nope, he does not. He... So the file doesn't do me... Okay, so do we want to trade Brooks altogether? I think so. Let's go for it. Weaknesses. Okay, so... Oh, I missed that my two pawn is hanging, but that's okay. I'm threatening him too. And which pawn over here will I take if he allows one? If he takes, then I'm going to take one of the pawns. Okay, so he chooses not to allow that. So I will do the same. He's going to go for... He's going to go for playing B1. And I was tempted to go for the same plan with... Bishop e5. That's going to be just trading off all the pawns, though. But if I play a3... Hmm. Let's do this, then. That move seems annoying. And then we'll come out... We're going to play here, and uh, we're going to go try to fix his pawn on on a7. And then play, if I can, play, okay, so he stops that. Need to get the king involved. We'll play here and, and push the king out to e3. At least that's a starting point for it. He has a similar idea. Okay. Hmm. So I want to go for the pawn ending after uh, takes on e5, or maybe maybe I should just play f4 immediately. I'm going to take I think I'm going to go for this pawn ending. Play a four. Oh, interesting. Interesting. What to do? I don't think he should have done that. I think that was a poor mistake. Yeah, that was horrible. Now it's easily winning. I think. Uh, actually, maybe I have to be careful. Yeah, that's annoying. I can't. I don't think I can take it because my he would just pass, push past, and if I played, huh? I think this is probably a draw now. Let's go ahead and get my. Uh... <clears throat> oh, haha! <laughs> that was a horrible blunder. I should have. <laughs> I was totally lost. He could have just pushed his pawn. He didn't. Let's see what he does. 
Yeah, this is absolutely drawn now. Maybe we'll try for trick or something. See what he does. Nope, he knows it's a draw and he's gonna take it. Wow, that was that was pretty pretty painful there. Call for a draw. He should accept it. Give him the old good game. And let's cut straight to that pawn ending and see where I blew it. He had a win, though. That's so sad. I think that... Uh, So, okay, so F4 takes, takes, pushes past. And maybe I have to play King F2. He can't approach my pawns because they're standing there nicely. So he comes up like this. I go here. And, and then if he tries to come any closer, then, then I can do this. And um, I think this is clearly better. I mean, this is... This is totally winning this way. I think I was so worried about trying to advance my own pawns that uh, I, I forgot that they're they're perfectly stable. He can't get. It's going to take him a long time to get around them. And so if instead he tries to cover this pawn with his own king, so maybe we get something like this, and he's forced now to to play this, and I get this move, and that's. Yeah, that's pretty simple. That's... Yeah, it couldn't hardly be more clear-cut. I mean, yeah, it just doesn't matter what he does. And this is an easy win. So that's... King F2, clearly better than King D4. Which seems slightly counterintuitive because uh, it's a backwards king move rather than a forwards king move. But uh, definitely... Definitely the better move. After this, it seems as if I'm... I don't think I'm lost, per se, but I'm, I'm definitely not, not better. Um, do I have anything else? Maybe, maybe I should play here. And after this, here, here, takes, pushes. Ah, uh, this would have been okay. This would have been okay as well. But uh, what happened in the in the game that I was uh, afraid of? Uh, so I played King E5, which I was just trying to get my king back over to to here. He pushes down. I went here, and so now my king is not in such a great spot. I was on E3 in the the last time I looked at this variation. Now I'm on F4, which makes a pretty big difference. So he pushes, and if I take, he'll go right past it. Oh, but it doesn't matter. I can get inside the square anyway. Oh my goodness, Jonathan. I thought for some reason that I wouldn't be able to... <laughs> ah, how embarrassing. Oh my goodness gracious. Huh. Well, I feel pretty foolish now. Totally, totally, totally ridiculous. Well, <laughs> I, I suppose you can hear my frustration there. And with on, on this note, I'm uh, I'm gonna sign off, feeling pretty uh, pretty dejected. So uh, have a nice night, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.